Hey, Darren, uh, what stands out to you about Texas A&M's pass rush and their front seven? Yeah, uh, I would say so far on film, they're very physical. Um, one thing I noticed is that they're really good movers. Um, credit to them, they look like they lost a little bit of weight, so I think that's helping them in the pass rush also. Um, you know, just really powerful people who move really well. Darian, how was the communication on Saturday at Mississippi State? And then obviously it's going to be a big step up against Texas A&M. So uh, how, how do you expect that to go and how we all prepare for that? Yeah, uh, SEC road game, uh, you know, it's always going to be loud. You know, what goes into it, you just got to prepare. Um, you know, nonverbal communication is a big thing up front. So that's something we're going to be working on all week uh, in preparation. Their defense kind of struggled, especially early on in the season, especially against Miami. Have Looking at the film of their games, have you seen it sort of gel together as the season's gone? Yeah, um, you know, they're really talented defense. You know, uh, everybody has their struggles, you know, in the beginning of the year. They kind of work through that. But, you know, they're really good defense, and uh, it's going to be a great uh, challenge for us. As someone who's manned the center position before, what kind of advice do you give to Seth to kind of just shake off the – the mental aspect of the snap issues? Yeah, um, you know, center, playing center is hard. You know, there's a lot of mental things that go into it. There's a lot of other things that go into it, you know, pre-snap and then snapping the ball is hard. You know, people think it may be easy sometimes, but when you have somebody that's 320 pounds lined up in front of you, um, you know, it makes it a little bit challenging, but we have all the confidence in Seth. Uh, we know he's going to get it right. Going back to communication, uh, how do you think Jalen did just on the road, being able to relay, relay the calls to you guys and, and handling that crowd noise? Yeah, I think he did really good. Um, first SEC game, you know, away game. Uh, it's something you got to work on throughout the week, but, you know, we're really proud of the way he stepped up, was very vocal, um, nonverbal, verbal communication, stuff like that. Anything else? Coach Shaben said yesterday that they were going to challenge y'all at practice this week because this is going to be a challenging game. So just how was practice yesterday and how did the team kind of respond to that? Yeah, I think his main message was if you can't take the coaching, you know, the hard coaching, how are you going to be able to perform in the game? Um, you know, I think every competitor takes on tough coaching. It's like it's part of the game. So uh, throughout the week, we're, you know, we're prepared to be coached hard. Um, you know, and now all will work out when it makes the game easier. Kurt? Uh, Darian, I think on the depth chart that we get in the press box, you're still listed as the second center. Do you work at center in practice uh, every day or very uh, often? I get, you know, I get reps at center sometimes just to make sure that I'm, you know, still sharper on that. Um, but other than that, you know, it's just regular rotation, you know, work out a guard and whatever they told me to do, I, I end up doing. Hey, Darian, um, Saturday night, uh, Coach Saban got on to you guys. And does that, I mean, how does that affect the overall energy of the team? Because from our perspective and from fans' perspective, they were kind of waiting for Coach Saban to get fired up and did that um, on national TV. Does that really play a role into getting you guys kind of that energy steered towards a different direction? Um, I think a main message for him since I've been here is always if you're a competitor, you don't need external motivation, you need internal motivation. Um, and, you know, it always helps to have, you know, somebody like Coach Saban to get on you. But um, I think that, you know, as an offense, we kind of we knew we needed to get it going. You know, you don't want slow starts. But um, if it helped, you know, him getting on us and getting us going, it helped. But, you know, I think as an offense, we kind of internally knew, like, it was time to, you know, get stuff going. Coach Saban said that the left tackles uh, probably played their best game this year. Just what do you see from Caden and Elijah both? Yeah, uh, they're both really young, but, you know, every week you see them get better. Um, really proud of them, you know, putting their work hat on during the week and, you know, working on stuff they need to work on. Really proud of them both for going out there and, like you said, playing their best game so far. Anything else? Thanks, Appreciate you.